So you're calling your friends on Skype, right? And you want to show them a video game that you're playing. And then you stream the window to them, but they can't hear any of the sound coming out of that game. That's because Skype only allows for one audio input. So here we are in Skype options. And uh, you can set your microphone as an input, and you could set stereo mix as an input, which is the sounds coming out of your computer, and so your game. But they can only hear either one or the other, and I'm going to show you a workaround using this wonderful program. What, this, what Voice Meter does is it reroutes two inputs, combines them into one, and then you can pipe that one input into Skype. So they can hear both what you're, uh, what's happening in your computer and what you're saying through your mic. Once you got Voice Meter downloaded, you should go into your playback devices, and you'll find you have Voice Meter input here. It's a new input. You set that as your default device, and you set um, in recording devices. You set that as your default device also. And if you don't do this, then you won't be able to hear anything happening on your computer and they won't be able to either so your speakers would be pretty much useless and uh, once you've got that done you have to go into the program itself I have all the settings here as they should be uh, the hardware input is your mic so what you're using to speak into and the hardware output is what's being piped out all these should be highlighted as is here and if that's all done then you're ready to move on the decibels don't really matter so don't worry about those um, in your Skype options you have this new mm, this new microphone setting which is a voice meter output if you set this as your microphone they'll be able to hear both things happening in your computer and what you're saying into your mic so if I stop talking and I activate something like this just a second right so it picked that up so it sent it into this program all the audio went into here and it came out into Skype which is just what you wanted it to do and you could set your speakers as voice meter input and you can go even further because I'm recording right now in a separate program which I was doing with my friend also if you go into uh, your recording program I'm using XSplit because it's got really good um, memory usage See, I'm only at 14 megabytes. Fraps would have been killing my memory at this point. You have to set a system sound as none, which it's going to warn you about that, but don't worry about it because uh, you're using a program for this. Voice meter output is your mic. And if you do that, it's going to pick up what your friend is saying on Skype, what you're saying on your mic, and what the game sounds like. And that's exactly what you want. And if you have all, all that set, then uh, you're pretty much done. And you have succeeded in uh, fixing Skype's problems, which they don't want to fix themselves. You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't use this bar to change your volume. You use your own speakers, so I'm using this one. If you change this, it's not going to make a difference for you. All this stuff right here is uh, what your friend and what the recording program is going to be listening to but you are listening to only this um, so if something isn't working for you just send something send a comment in and I'll look into it I literally found all this out through trial and error so I'm sure if you mess around a little you could find out too um, I hope this helped you and uh, I also hope you have a good night